This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, he has graced the octagon. It means we are ready to go with our main event of the evening. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Uzdemir gets hit with that stiff jab there. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Fast pace here in the early going. That knee, that knee hurt him. Hard shots landing on both sides here. does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, and the high kick lands. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Oh, 
Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Lands to the body there. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Slips the left hand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Uzdemir gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh! Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Big head kick! Big right hook there by the champ. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Straight punch. Useful. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Lands the low kick. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Hands up, hands up. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a pistol. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even reel. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under a minute now to go in this one. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Yeah, that punch was blocked. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Bunches and bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Second round, straight oh. ahead. All right, take a seat, bud. Breathe, slow it down. How you feel? Great, man. That was awesome. I told you we were going to win this fight with cardio. He has already spent. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? Ready. Second it. round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Beautiful combination. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight.
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counter after blocking shots. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Oh, back and forth we go. More than one, more than one. Punches and punches. Work. Good punch, Lance. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. Oh, big elbow. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. That leg kick hurt. Lee's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Big right hand lands. Sidekick now. Oh! Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Oh! Under two minutes to go. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. Lee's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow time. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Fifteen seconds. the space so that he doesn't get finished. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? You ready? Go now three of a possible five. Oh! You cannot take too many of those.
almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Uzdemir. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reaction of the opponent. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, almost like he saw the skin. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Don't give up. Leg kick lands nicely done. Well, he can. Oh! Under three minutes here to go in the round. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh! He's got to keep pressing here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, nice jab by Lee. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline. Oh, the the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so an up. Oh, uh, he got him again. Unable to connect there. Uzdemir's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to Nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though them, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Man, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Uzdemir's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Heavy body kick lands. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Uzdemir's nose is just pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high-octane output on both sides, and 
candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both going to have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. It's another one of those ones where you might think about stopping it. Oh, yeah, we got blood all over the broadcast table. It's legit everywhere. It's all over us. It's hot. Oh, right take, take on the elbow, and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots, and if you take one of them, if you end the night, that one landed right on the spot. And just misses with that big right hand. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. Well, you got to think he might be trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. Lee's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Ujdemir's cut on his nose does not. Oh. Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big left hook there. Just over three minutes to go. The slip and then the counter by Ujdemir. Unable to land with that punch. Uzdemir's really... Oh, oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Uzdemir. Oh, that body shot hurt him. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, oh, oh huge shots being landed on both sides. Shades of Robbie Lawler versus Rory McDonald as these athletes go toe to toe, both dealing with cuts and adversity and trying to fight through it. Absolutely incredible result. So many people say they want to be a fighter. If I'm trying to convince somebody not to do it, I will show them this huh. fight. This fight has been amazing. These guys have laid it all out on the line. I wonder now who's going to be the first one to take a backward step and almost concede that this is. Oh, up over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Lee's an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside position and potentially stop this fight. Body head, body head. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but I'm able to land. Oh! He's hurt. He's wobbling. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Big shot lands for both guys. Ujdemir's cut right on the bridge of his nose does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you gotta think... You don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 
Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, man. I mean, how much can one man take? He certainly doesn't look like he did when he walked out here just a few moments ago. What a connection. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh. Holy smokes. All right, so somewhat remarkably, we have made it to the end of the round. Both fighters have been cut up severely. Yeah, and his corner's gonna have some work to do on him. And for as bad as he looked, John, his opponent is as beat up as he is. Right, I think that's part of the reason why the corner is not getting involved, because they feel like there has been a lot of damage sustained on the other side as well, as we look back at some of the replays. I mean, these guys just beat each other up. Both of them landed beautiful strikes over the course of that round, landing damaging punch, landing damaging kicks. So many different attacks led to all the blood that we are seeing on these two fighters. Gotta think the referee and the ringside physician are gonna be watching things closely as we begin this next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards are not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to sleep. Oh, oh my goodness. Booz Demir's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Just man, has his chin been tested early. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Good work. Unable to connect with the right. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Swing and a miss by Ustami. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, oh, he's wobbling now. Oh! Shot is blocked there by Uzdemir. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Straight to the body there by Lee. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. All right, so now... Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Leg kick. Back to his feet. Oh! He's hurt bad. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick because he somehow is managing landed with so much force. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Whiffs on the right hand. 
Uzdemir shot is blocked. Nice body kick. Uzdemir gets kicked and once again, target area of the body. Final round, final minute, what a round. Hard for the referee to get involved when damage is being doled out on both sides. I mean, it's so evenly matched. These guys have done such a great job of staying in the fight. There have been many moments in this fight where you thought one of them just did not have enough. Look at all the blood. Look at all the bruising on these two fighters. These guys have done a tremendous job. This is a fight of the night candidate. Under a minute now to go in this one. Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lee gets back up. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Well, you see him cringing now as the body damage just continues to pile. Oh! oh! That is it! Oh! oh! Woo! What a result in Rio, a stunner! Oh, boy! All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and... For my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bogdan No Time Uzdemir. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever...